Lack and Greg Vegan Camp, the 30th of April 2020. The rains have arrived and that benefits a lot of things. For example, the air is much more fresh. We have clean, nice air. The AQI is low. I have seen uh, AQIs as low as 12 outside. Whoa, North and Thailand. And also the plants are very happy. They have water, but unfortunately also the rain caused some of the trees to fall. The mint is thriving. And here are the Manao Pan. Most of the other limes here are like the lime season is over, but this is like tons of Manao here, the, the limes. I'm also wondering what was going on here, but these are guavas. There'll be a lot of guavas. I don't know what's going on with the tree. It didn't produce that much the other times. Maybe it's because it was so dry, so it thinks, oh, I'm going to die, so I need to produce a ton of guavas to survive, to get an offspring and survive. And yes, this is the longan tree. It fell down here, which is not so good because of water or storm or whatever. Still getting tomatoes here outside the kitchen area. Currently washing and this is the output water and this is the phone from washing nuts. And this is the longan tree. Normally it goes up like this but now it goes like that. Pineapple. Avocado. Growing. No flowers. Something break here. Oh, it's maybe here. Not Nam Dog Mai, a local type of mango. Kunme is planting Mexican spinach. Lek has started a Mexican spinach factory. So we need to grow a ton of Mexican spinach. Compost piles are also happy because of the rain. We're not turning these. If all real composters will say that we need to turn this compost pile. There are not many longan, but some longan, and they will be huge, I think. Few, but huge. Mexican spinach everywhere. Also Mexican spinach and flowers and stuff. Anybody wants some Mexican spinach? These boxes and over here, they are prepared to go and pick some mangoes and sell them for 18 baht per kilo. 18 baht per kilo. So because we are taking a huge amount, then the buyer can get it for 18 baht per kilo. Because I cannot freeze them all, I cannot eat them all, and they would rather pick them and sell them for 18 baht um, because organic doesn't have any value in Thailand currently so it will be just be sold for 18 baht per kilo I, I repeat 18 baht per kilo organic high quality premium Nam Dog Mai yep and the rest will go into my belly but 500 600 kilos of mangoes in my belly it's quite hard currently they are not doing anything here Auntie working on the on planting or or not not planting just putting um, a lot of Mexican spinach over there ready for sale and there is truck coming and picking them up so there are other dogs coming from the owners and then <laughs> an uncle is digging preparing the soil there's also trucks coming in with soil and preparing the soil to crushing it so it's uh, we can plant stuff in it. it seems like the papaya situation is unchanged the papayas continuously produce papayas yeah i'm trying to keep up eating them oh no mangoes falling from the tree they're sick probably also a different type i mean most of the mango trees are producing mangoes this year 
It's like a mango booming season. This is a strange type, very strange shape, but really cool. I hope the small field of asparagus will start producing soon. Now when the water has arrived, beetroot. Very exciting when a bag falls down to see what's inside. A beautiful mango. Maybe it's even edible right now. Don't need to ripen it up. Yes, it's quite soft. Wow. So the first tree dropped mangoes are available, of course. Tree drop mangoes, the best. Homegrown tree drop mangoes. Who would have thought? Nobody. The strange Thai rose apple thing. It's a nice tree. Everywhere you go, there are like mangoes. You're surrounded by mangoes. Surrounded! Give up, surrounded. You're surrounded by mangoes. Oh no. What's going on here? This doesn't thrive. If a banana palm breaks like this without even having, a, having fruit, something wrong. Chaom has been cut down. And my child, my child's jackfruit is giving ch children yellow jackfruits. There's so many, and they're so big. How can it be? Look up, up there also. Oh my god, so many jackfruits. Can you see the jackfruit? Look at this jackfruit tree planted from seed. I mean, in the beginning, I was like taking care of this tree and they were like, and, like cutting the weed and sometimes you know if you're not careful you're just like oh oh my god I almost cut my jackfruit tree I think I almost cut this jackfruit tree like one million times but I did not now it's a tree a big tree wow this long papaya is ready to be picked and maybe eaten even it's a bit soft so it's ready to eat look at the difference of the, uh, the top compared to this top. So this papaya is not thriving. I don't know why. And the, the papayas are not really good and they don't mature really well. And of course the Mexican spinach fence, which has started a big production of Mexican spinach here in Lee. Wow, the date palm is thriving. Maybe we'll have one date palm here. Getting sick, as you can see. I'll pick this papaya too. And the others are really nice for papaya salads. Different types of uh, papaya salads you can get, but you can get like a completely green papaya that is like almost white inside, or you can get it like it's almost getting a bit red, like orangey, and that means that it's getting almost ripe. But that type for a papaya salad is also very nice. I think because it gives like natural sweetness, you don't need to use any sugar or a little bit of sugar. And so like people, some people are very afraid of sugar. It's a nice way to get a sweet sensation in the papaya salad without using sugar is to not a ripe, but nearly ripe papaya. Super mega quick fix. Super mega tip, quick fix, mega ninja turtle. Jasmine flowers. And the smell in the morning is just incredible. Jasmine, amazing. Almost sickening. The idea is here, I, I want to get rid of this, all this plastic stuff. So I want to grow like, a, this is a papaya, like it's of course growing Mexican spinach. So I hope that this will be become a dome of plants instead of this plastic in, in time. Mulberry season is over. We had a lot of mulberries. I think I still have a bit of mulberry in the freezer for the smoothies. And this is of course Mexican spinach surrounding everything. Can say hello to Charcoal Man, our, our neighbor. I think he is replanting some. Mamuang Mai? Okay, he's planting some uh, mangoes. Don Mai Mamuang! And this is the green area where we had the sprinkler system. Now I have removed the battery and the automatic sprinkling because it's not necessary anymore. Because the rain and all the cover of green is very nice and can just sustain itself and it will just regrow stuff. You can see that there's like growing things here. I'm not sure what it is. Like, we'll probably know. So if you want to know, ask in the comments and I will answer when I have like around. Now she's very busy with the producing the, the Mexican spinach and also getting ready for mangoes. And this is the avocado and of course 
we will need to move the trees from here if this is like a green area or maybe keep one papaya tree here to just uh, keep it covered but I mean there's like too many like papayas coming up here I'm not sure maybe I am guilty of planting all these, these papaya trees here but they're growing insanely and I think we still have some tomatoes um, but otherwise they, the tomatoes will come up again I'm pretty sure of that because there will be always like some tomatoes that will drop and just become new this is like never ending never ending cycle real permaculture stuff uh, and we also had corn there will probably pop up corn again this was not planted corn this is like real permaculture uh, corn almost and the tom there are like a little bit of tomato over there but otherwise we had like a lot of tomato from from this area too it's really nice and I'll look at all the, these flowers and the, this ground cover just so nice i love it i just stand here all day and watch things be mangoes and like a drying area for the mexican spinach i think leg is still trying to find out the best way to utilize this and ants love my dried jackfruit dehydrated jackfruit mm, it's good but what i need to do is to buckets for the peat and then fill the buckets with water so no ants can enter this area it will be tricky with the the pipes because if they use the pipes to get into the Dehydrator, I don't know what to do. Sawaditan ciao! The next auntie has arrived. Say hello to the people, Hima. The rice straw pile. I, I believe that the soil in the bottom of this pile will be amazing if we just leave it like this. But yeah, we can also use this for composting other places and ground cover. So, see, I'm guilty of this. This is a casa. I'm just planted it there. And the mountain. Today it's foggy. This is not like bad air quality, it's just moisture. Look at this banana. It's ready because it's already getting eaten. It's yellow here. After the big rainfall, all of these cassava just fell down. Normally they're like standing up, cutting them up to replant and also to eat some of the shoots. You can also use like the cassava to support the mango. Otherwise it will be just be on the soil and it's wet and it will just die, the mango. And this cassava, is used to support the banana we can get some bananas yeah right now i don't want anything in the freezer because i'm just trying to empty it so i can clean it and then get ready for the new mango new mango season eating a, as much mango frozen mango ice cream as i can almost every day yeah this is like banana graveyard and this is the red banana so i'm just trying to make ground cover to make this red banana thrive because we had a little accident uh, there was like a lot of water flushing down here downstream and all but this is the greatest banana we had so i tried to like cut them and then try to put them back together and like <laughs> even when you cut a banana it doesn't care just like okay i'll just grow new i don't care I'm, I'm going home so I don't know what will happen these will maybe produce something or not and even in this dry area you can see like green coming if you compare it to the video last month you can see that it's like a mega difference and in one month there will be even more green it will be overgrown so it's just like the things change so fast when the rain kicks in so the rain together with the the heat is just a, like mega nice it's very nice for the plants and they, they just grow really fast and everything is just like thriving including the mosquitoes more mexican spinach fence 